everybody in today's video we are going to unbox our mi gardener 2021 grab bag so the deal with this is you get 30 mystery seed packets you have no idea what they're sending um, but you only have to pay 15 dollars for them which is half off um, shipping was three dollars I was a little apprehensive at first to order this. I was a little bit afraid that I would just get 30 packets of like beets and radishes or something that I wouldn't be able to use. But um, from everything I've seen online, people seem really happy with what they've gotten. So uh, let's go ahead and open it up and see what we've got. All right. They came in a little paper bag. All right, so first up, we got anise, which is a perennial, apparently. I've never grown anise. It looks like we've got 150 seeds, and it is perennial, so I'll have to do some research. Um, I'm not really sure what you use anise for, so um, that's cool. Next is another one I've never grown before, fenugreek. Uh, it says it's a delicious green with edible seeds. And it says there is a strong curry-like taste. Um, so this is not something I would normally uh, gravitate towards. Let's see. Okay. Looks like next one is a tomato. A champagne bubbles tomato. Uh, it's indeterminate. It's a cherry tomato. Um, normally we don't do cherry tomatoes. Um, we're more of a slicer and a, a paste type but um, my sister would probably really like these. I don't know if she's ever grown a yellow uh, cherry tomato, so um, I'll probably go to her. Up next, Swiss chard. Um, again, something I've never grown before. Um, it says rich with vitamins and minerals, so that's good. Yeah, so this will probably be something that I put in my emergency stockpile, so it will not go to waste. Up next is a Sunflower Autumn Beauty. Um, I actually just ordered some of these um, from another company. Actually, I think I've ordered these from In My Gardener before and they did come up really well. Um, they're really pretty. This is one of my favorite varieties of sunflowers. So um, I'm excited to have those. Up next is another tomato, Jubilee Tomato. I've not heard of this variety. Um, it says they are sweet and acidic, so that'll be a good one to try. I don't have many um, yellowish orange uh, tomato varieties like that, so that'll be a good addition to my stockpile. This one, I don't know how to pronounce. A uh, sweet marjoram. This one's also a perennial, it says. And it says it can be used to make teas and jellies, so this will be an interesting one to try out. Up next, a uh, mixed bean. Um, so it says it includes our three most popular bush beans, top crop yellow, royal burgundy, and blue lake. So this will definitely be something I will use this year. Um, I didn't know that they sold mixed beans like this. This is really cool. So um, we'll definitely be using this. Uh, next one, parsley, uh, Hamburg rooted parsley. Um, I have not bought any parsley this year. I had some leftover from years prior, but I've never tried this variety before. Um, it says that the root is flavored like parsnip, so that's interesting. Um, so we'll definitely try that out. Oh, um, next is a spinach, Egyptian spinach. I've not tried this variety before. It says, once a staple in the diets of ancient Egyptian pharaohs, used to aid digestion, improve vision, and reduce stress. Very interesting. Um, I have another variety of spinach that I was planning on using this year, so this will probably go in my emergency stockpile, but um, that's a cool variety that um, I'll definitely try in the future. Up next, ooh, popcorn, a red strawberry type. Um, I have never done um, a popcorn before. We usually try to limit our corn um, because we don't have a huge garden space and we don't want them to cross pollinate. So we usually just stick to sweet corn. Um, but this is a really fun thing to, uh, to try out sometime. Um, again, this will probably end up going in our emergency stockpile, but, um, that's pretty cool. Up next is the onion, Pompeii onion. This is a short day onion. So, um, we are in Indiana, so we need long day onions. This will probably just go in my emergency stockpile, but, 
Um, it says mini onion is perfect for bunching or cooking as a pearl variety. Interesting. Up next we have a Parisian carrot. <laughs> one thing, one of my goals for my garden in 2022 is to grow a carrot. I've never been able to grow a carrot beyond like this size. So um, I'll definitely be trying this. We're trying a bunch of different types of, of varieties of carrots. So um, we'll add this one to the pile. Oh, these actually only grow one and a half inches big. So that's perfect for me. That's all the bigger I can grow them anyways. Um, and you get 300 seeds in this. So that's pretty good. All right, up next. Oh, turnips. Uh, Shagoin turnip. Um, we are not big turnip people. So this will go in the emergency stockpile. And it looks like you can also eat the greens off of them. So that's pretty cool. Um, up next, we've got scallop yellow bush summer squash. I believe I actually ordered some of these from another company. Um, so this will go in my emergency stockpile as well. This is a summer squash. Uh, you can actually grow this in a container, which is pretty cool. All right, up next, we've got a lettuce, Great Lakes crisp head lettuce. Um, that's another thing we're trying out a couple of different varieties this year is lettuce. I don't believe, I don't think I have this variety. Um, so we'll definitely be growing this. Um, it says expect to have lettuce ready to harvest within two or three months. It's pretty cool. Um, Russian tarragon. Uh, this is a perennial herb, it looks like. Um, considered a low-lying shrub. Very cool. Yeah, this is not something that we use um, regularly in our cooking. Um, so this one will probably go in the emergency stockpile as well. Next one's another type of lettuce, black seeded Simpson lettuce. I have grown this before. Um, I found it was a little bit bitter, but um, I'm not a very good gardener. So that might've been my own, my own fault here. And you get a thousand seeds in this. So that's pretty good. I am actually planning on doing some indoor um, growing this year. I've got some new grow lights that I want to try out. And um, the main thing I plan on growing is lettuce. So I think this would be a good variety to try with that. Up next, oh, chicory, cool. Uh, during the Great Depression, chicory was used as a coffee substitute. So that's pretty cool. I do not have these seeds. Um, and it's a perennial as well. So that's pretty cool. All right, up next, it uh, looks like carrots. Uh, I don't know how you say that, Scarlet Nantes. Um, we've tried these before. Again, I'm not good at growing carrots, but um, it's good to have some extras of these because I was running low. Um, we'll definitely be trying these again. Um, these are one of the most popular carrots. So um, six to seven inch roots. So this is a good variety. Um, so we'll definitely be trying these again. I'm happy to, ha to have some more of those. Okay, up next. Copenhagen Market Cabbage. I have a ton of these in my emergency stockpile. We're not huge cabbage people either, so this will go in my emergency stockpile as well, but um, this is a very popular variety, I know that. Really, the only thing we would make out of cabbage is some coleslaw. We do like to eat coleslaw, but um, we don't eat it enough to really warrant taking up garden space for it. But um, this is a good thing to have. I'm, I'm excited to have that. Uh, catnip. <laughs> We do have 8,000 uh, barn cats in typical homesteaders fashion. Um, so I might throw some of this out um, for them. I've never grown it before, but um, that's pretty cool. Okay, up next, uh, bait alpha cucumber. Um, I did buy a variety of cucumbers that I plan on trying. I've not tried this one before. Um, let's see says it's spineless and smooth, so that's cool because I, I do not like getting poked by the cucumbers. Uh, sweet and flavorful. Uh, let's see, five to six inches. Um, yeah, cool, so never tried these before. Um, these will definitely get used this year. Uh, Utah tall celery, I've never tried to grow celery. Um, again, celery is one of those things that we just use so rarely that um, it's just not really worth taking up garden space for it, but um, Let's see, it says, capable of growing bundles nearly a foot in diameter. Uh, it's cold tolerant, heat tolerant, and very easy to grow. That sounds like if I wanted to grow celery, that would be right up my alley. Um, cool. Yeah, we, we might try this. I don't know, that might be a fun experiment to try to grow some celery. All right, lemon mint. Um, I love to create teas out of mint. 
and um, we have bees, so I always like growing mint and letting them uh, go to flower uh, for the bees because they just love it. Um, it says this is actually not a true mint. That's interesting, um, but those flowers are really pretty, so I'll probably grow that just for the bees. All right, red bachelor's button. Um, those are really cute. I've never grown bachelor's button before. Um, it says they are deer resistant, which is good. We are always having problems with deer, so um, that's pretty cool. Banana melon. Um, let's see. Oh, it's a watermelon. Um, it says stunning striped oval watermelon. Can reach up to 15 to 25 pounds. That's really neat. It does not look like a watermelon. Um, we're not big melon people. Um, we don't do like cantaloupes or anything like that. Um, watermelon, I have not had very good success growing watermelon, um, but I do plan on trying it again this year. Interesting. So yeah, this one will probably go on the emergency stockpile, but that's, that's pretty cool. All right. Giant frog celery, another uh, celery variety. Um, let's see. Okay, so it says it's a root vegetable in the celery family, but the root is used instead of the stalks. That's interesting. Um, it's grown for soups, making vegetable stock, roasting, and even making celery powder. Um, yeah, this is probably something we won't grow this year. Um, we'll put this in the emergency stockpile, but that's interesting. I've never heard of that before. All right, only got a few more left. Uh, red giant mustard. Culinary herb. Uh, you use the leaves for salad, and you can use the seeds for spice, or can be ground to make condiments. That's pretty cool. I'm, I'm not a big mustard person as far as the condiment goes, but I've never um, tried mustard seeds in a salad. So this might be worth growing just to try that. Um, I might carve out a spot in the garden um, in the lettuce area um, just to try this to see how I like that. All right, last one, St. John's wort. Oh, very cool. So this is a medicinal herb, I know that. Um, let's see, it can be brewed as a tea to treat the symptoms of insomnia, depression, and anxiety. Um, it can also be used topically in the form of essential oils to treat sunburn, arthritis, and muscle pain. Plants are easy to grow and will tolerate any soil type. Um, that's pretty cool. This is definitely something that I would put in the emergency stockpile. Um, it's always good to have the more medicinal herbs in there just in case. So yeah, guys, that was all 30 packets. Um, I did count them. We did receive all 30. And um, there wasn't a single duplicate, which I'm really surprised by. So yeah, this was a really fun idea. Um, I'm a sucker for mystery boxes anyways, but um, I tend to be more of a conservative gardener. I'm not very good at gardening, to be completely honest with you. I haven't been doing it for very long. So something like this um, really gets me out of my comfort zone and um, it's going to encourage me to think outside the box and to experiment more, which is good. I think I need that in the garden. And even the things that I don't think I'll necessarily grow, like the turnips or those short day onions, um, they will still have a place in our emergency stockpile. So they definitely will not go to waste. Um, but yeah, that was really fun. Um, I'll definitely be doing this again in 2022 if I'm able to catch it before they sell out. If you ordered one of these grab bags, comment down below and let me know what you got, if you got any duplicates or not, and what you are most excited to receive. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.